everybody welcome to my channel I have this cute little mini file cabinet to share with you I've been wanting to make one of these for a while now I just love the idea of a little mini file cabinet with little itty bitty mini file folders so this has been really fun I do have a tutorial it's super easy to make all you're gonna need is some chipboard and some uh, uh, cardstock and there you go so um, Anyway, so I'll put a link to that below, and this file cabinet here has, I use the Paige Evans Wonders Collection, and I'm just loving the boho um, flowers and the um, patterns and everything and the colors, so really gorgeous, gorgeous collection, and I've added some poles here, which I painted, and I will have more information on in my tutorial on the products and things that I've used to make this cabinet so um, go ahead and check that out and then I've got a little mini tassel that I've made here uh, these are super fun to make and then I've got this even tinier one here with a little um, butterfly charm and this little bead dangle that I made another little butterfly charm so just really fun to decorate this. Uh, I made this little rosette on the top with some crochet thread and some uh, fun for trim or eyelash trim, whatever you want to call it. And, and these are from the chipboard sheet. Um, just loving the little um, metallic foils um, on the um, designs there. So anyway, just really loving this, you guys. Okay, there's something on here. It's bugging me. Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Um, and oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. Loving it. These are just stickers from the sticker sheet here. And so I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. And you can see my little tiny mini file folders. Aren't these just so cute? Okay, so I had to angle the camera down, but these are the cute little file folders, and I just love all the different colors, and I've topped or decorated every tab with something different, and I think this just came out so very fun. So this is for a swap, and I'm going to be putting all kinds of goodies in these folders, so the first folder is going to have these cute tags that I made and these were made using the 3x4 journaling cards that were cut out from the 12 by 12 papers and just loving all these gorgeous images. This one's one of my favorite. It has, um, it has a little heart rainbow printed over there and I just topped it with the chipboard piece and this one just came out super super cute and this last one here has a little bead hanging from the thread and I'm just going to include my name and information for my swap partner that one's going in here and then we are to make two sets of two embellishments so this is my first set and I'm not really sure what these are called um, I know I've seen a name for these little two by two squares before but I can't think of it um, but I used the there's a cute little two by two pad of paper that goes with this collection and um, it's just so fun because the designs are so much smaller and they're great for projects like this and then the front I've just topped with some paper that I scored into an accordion and um, just added some chipboard in the trims and just they're so adorable. I think they came out so very cute. So these are going to be packaged up like this. I just don't want to do that on camera. Watch you fill my bag. But And then this is going to set inside of um, this one here. And then I'm going to put um, these cute little rosettes are from the collection and I love these little crepe paper pieces and then um, this cute little um, set of tassels here 
and so these are going to go in there like that. Okay, there we go. And there's still room, so I'm going to go ahead and clear. This is um, the other little 2x2 two two paper pad, and it has the phrases and expressions, and this is still intact. I haven't used any of it, so I'm just going to include that. I think it's great for card making and stuff like that. Little bag toppers, and then um, I found these little um, tags at Joanne, and I thought they kind of matched, and I think that's fun to, um, again, use for bag toppers and gifts or for little cards and stuff like that. So they have three different looks and phrases in that package. So this one's going to go up on the top here. And then we have our remaining three file folders. And... I'm just loving this paper. It's probably one of my favorites. And, yep. So I love this one. It has a little bee dangle on it. And so, let's see. In this one here, I'm going to include these little puppy stickers that I found at Joanne. And I just cut the package in half so I could fit it in the bag. And then this cute little chipboard tops it off. So that one's going in there. And what else? And then I have a little glassine bag with, um, is that what these are called? I think. <laughs> and then they have little butterfly charms and heart beads. And then I just topped it with some fun trims and a little bead that's tied onto the string here and so this is gonna go in here as well and then we had to make another set of two embellishments so I made these cute little bead dangles here and I'm just loving the way these turned out I think they kind of go with that boho feel and um, I'm loving all the different trims and textures that I have on here and there's a little puppy heart from the puppy sticker sheet and then on the back there's another one of those little puppy stickers and you can see the little teeny tiny butterfly print on the paper there so it just came out super super cute and then this one also has one of the little puppy stickers and some trim. Just a little piece of scrap left over. I sewed on this little bead. And then I made this little bead dangle here. And the little butterfly bank uh, charm I added. And so this just came out super, super cute as well. So these are going to be sewn onto these cards. Um... Like so, and then I will package them up in this cute little bag, and these will go in here. And then the last folder is going to have these cute little sequin stickers and I love how this looks on the orange paper so pretty and this one's going to go in here and then we have our cute little tag here these are um, from the paper and they're printed as tags and I just kind of shortened up the bottom and trimmed up the sides a little bit to fit in the box and then um, added these little butterfly paper clips. Now the file boxes themselves will hold 3x4 journaling cards perfectly well. So you could just stack as many if you do that kind of journaling or creating. You can stack all your 3x4 cards in these little drawers and they'll fit perfectly well without rubbing on the sides or the top. I just trim these down just for look, just for 
my aesthetic, you know, for the purposes of the swap. But um, yeah, I intend, I built this so that it would hold three by four cards perfectly, and um, and a great place to store. I don't know if you guys cut yours out and store them like that, but but that's kind of what I do. So that's kind of my intention for that. And then I have this cute little um, cut apart, and just for interest, just for fun, I have these in my stash, and I just added those on there. Um, I thought that would be really fun. So I'm going to include those in there. And again, I still have room, so I've got this bag of sequins, and I just changed up the topper there, and so this will just tuck in the back. So that is it. I have my file boxes filled and ready to go and so I'm just going to angle the camera up again so you can see so hey you guys thank you so much for watching and um, I would love it if you would hit the like button and give me a thumbs up that would be greatly appreciated and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can join me for my upcoming videos catch you next time thanks for watching bye I'm just sitting here I got time